So the applause is for the 100 partnership. Comes off a leg by. These two coming together when Smith was out for 11, and it's now 111 for one. And one thing about Khaled Sharan when he's out there, although he's a good player and he likes to hit fours, he hasn't missed many opportunities in taking the quick single. He's been very quick onto that on the offside and the onside. It really does keep this scoreboard ticking over. So Warwick's are going well. I think it's fair to say this is uh, certainly one of the easiest, best uh, batting pitches we've seen at Headingley on television for some little time. Bestow uh, ringing the changes. Carrick comes off. We see Moxon for the first time. The uh, sixth bowler used by Yorkshire this morning. Tall, medium pacer. First down this morning, Robin Dyer being beaten outside off stump. Yeah, this is a, a fairly good delivery, good length. Uh, just held its line, didn't do too much, but that's enough if you can just keep it going on the same line. That's a nice little gift. Uh, making the most of it, clipping it away for four. So 54, Robin Dyer. His uh, first 50 for Warwickshire in uh, any sort of cricket. 100 balls he's had it, five fours. And again to Kelly Chiran. Again, it's well run. <coughs> Another quite productive over for the visitors here. Seven off uh, Moxon's first over. One one eight for one. to Kalicharan on uh, 49. <laughs> it's 
stays on 49. That was a leg by. Steered away quite skillfully to third man. Trouble there if he'd hit. I think uh, Mr. Dyer might well have been on his way back. Looking to run the single there with Kelly Turan on 49, nearly uh, brought about his own downfall. Yeah, good cricket here, good fielding, and good backing up from Phil Robinson, who got in position to stop the throw from Kevin Sharp. Which well, had to move fairly quickly. It would have been very close indeed if it hit the stumps. He's made sure this time. Deaf piece of basement. Leg side brings Kelly John a single. And he goes to 50. Taking him rather less time than his partner. He's got 50 off just uh, 61 balls. He too has hit five fours. He's reeled off another BH 50. That's the 10th, and that doesn't include 300s he's made. down here or actually put into bat by David Bairstow this morning he snapped up the chance to uh, get rid of uh, Dave Smith off side bottoms of only for seven but that's the only success which has come Yorkshire's way to date side bottom the wicket taker one for 16 from his six overs and uh, six Yorkshire bowlers have already been in action Just waiting for David Bairstow to come back. Just chatting to the 12th man. Just ordered his lunch. Kalicher on facing. Let's try him twice down there, and by uh, Nigel Blues, deciding that the second one was a wide.
looking to pull it through mid wicket. Ball seemed to come on to him a little more quickly than he thought. Must have moved a bit. Dyer played the shot. He was looking for the ball going to extra cover. Ended up getting a single on the leg side. That uh, put a smile to his face. To give that a bit of a whip through mid wicket. Gone here at Headingley, 124 for one. Calisher on 51, Dyer 54. And the news from Trent Bridge, the uh, other semi final between Nottinghamshire and Lancashire. Nine appears to be the unlucky uh, number for uh, not here this morning because uh, Randall has now gone caught by the wicket keeper off Watkinson for nine, and Robinson earlier fell caught Hughes Bowl Jeffries for nine. But Chris Broad is 33 not out, and uh, Skipper Rice with him on 17 not out. 75 for two off 25 overs. No change in the attack here. That's gone, yes. So after a fairly defiant innings there by Robin Dyer, his first appearance in this competition, he's gone for a very good 54. He's given uh, Warwickshire the base he wanted. Goes uh, caught and bowled by Steve Oldham. One twenty-four for two as uh, Dyer departs. But his captain will be uh, very well pleased with him here this morning. Nice uh, easy pace wicket for him, and he's made the most of it. Yes, he's played pretty well there. He's done a good job for Warwickshire. He'll have enjoyed that playing in front of a big crowd here at Headingley, knocking for 20,000 people. It'll be the first time he's played in front of a crowd like that, and he'll really have enjoyed it. So it's the old combination. Dennis Aim is coming in to join Alvin Kalicharan. There you've got Steve Oldham again, and he, he just tries to push it a little bit on the leg side, change his mind a little bit, trying to straighten up, but in fact caught the semi outside edge and a good cotton ball there. Yes, he was trying to look to push it away on the onside, and that was a good cotton ball, wrong hand for him, left handed, good catch. So the card up to date as uh, Amish takes guard to face Oldham. Dennis Amish has uh, been a model of consistency in this tournament so far this year. Got underway with a very good 100 against Leicester, 38 against Yorkshire, 79 against Northants, 34 against Scotland and 36 against Somerset.
dug that out nicely to uh, see him on his way with a single. Well played, lovely little uh, dab shot there. Beautifully controlled all along the ground for a single. Knew exactly what he wanted to do with it and performed it so delicately. It's another player, extremely good off his legs. Still, Steve Oldham was invariably the case, striking in a limited over game. Doesn't play many without uh, getting a wicket to do. One for 24 now from his seven overs. Jeff Humpage, uh, another useful attacking batsman to follow. Paul Smith with a reputation for hitting big sixes. Anton Ferreira, Chris Ole back on his uh, old home ground here. So uh, quite a bit to come for Warwickshire. Yorkshire's uh, biggest problem at the moment, or rather fancy will be to end this partnership as quickly as possible. Moxon to Amos. Wasn't one of his better shots. Yes, this is the sort of shot that you you tend to play in one day cricket. You tend to run it down to third man for runs. It's in your mind to be keeping scoring, but uh, not a shot that Dennis Emmis would have been proud of in a three day match. Easy one. Again, whips it nicely off his legs.
good tidy over again from uh, Moxon, just four singles from it. Not easy on this pitch with a fast outfield to uh, contain batsmen of this sort of ability. 54 now to Kelly Turan, four to Amos, his new partner. Six ball was used by uh, David Bester. Holden one for 24, side bottom one for 16. Steve Oldham with uh, four overs left. And Steve Oldham has done a pretty good job for Yorkshire since he came back to join them this year. Uh, he's usually been their most successful bowler in one day cricket this year. He's bowled a very good line and length and uh, he's used the experience that he's got from a lot of years in the game. He bowled very, very well indeed for Yorkshire in one day cricket this year. Him again to Amis. Just found the one man out at uh, Deep Square Leg. Another fine forcing shot there from uh, Kelly Charan, quickly into position. Yes, and that was uh, a very short delivery on this wicket. Uh, I don't really think Steve Oldham was trying to bounce him at that pace, and so I take it it was a bad delivery because it was two or three yards short of a length, but luckily he got away with it with just the one run. That takes us through to 34 overs, 21 left for Warwickshire to build on this total of 134 for two. Got a really fine base there. Brief appearance of uh, Martin Moxon, just three overs, and Phil Carrick comes back. this time for Kelly. Made for the sweep and again uh, played quite perfectly by Kelly Turan. Good quick at that. 
Nice piece of uh, work in the outfield by Fletcher. An excellent throw and good running.